Well, as more people get vaccinated, some are feeling more comfortable with the idea of traveling. Even some cruise lines announced that they will be setting sail again this June, just not out of any U.S. ports. So is it a good idea to book a cruise and what do you need to know? Well, Stuart Sheeran is joining us live to answer some of those questions. He is the cruise guy. First of all, Stuart, good afternoon. Glad you're here on the floor. Yes, thank you very much. Glad to be here. So let's talk about the cruise lines who are going to start setting sail as we get into the early part of the summer, late part of spring. And we just really want to emphasize you are not going to be sailing out of any U.S. ports right now. Right. The, the CDC still has their conditional order, which essentially is, um, is, a, is an ongoing ban. So you know, it's important to understand that the cruise lines are international shipping companies and they sail globally. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to be taking some ships that really didn't have any plans because of the pandemic, and they're going to be putting them in, in a couple of different ports. So uh, to give you an idea, the first one that uh, was announced uh, last week was Celebrity Cruises is gonna be using their Celebrity Millennium uh, to do seven night uh, Caribbean out of St. Martin. Their sister company starting June 12th, Royal, Royal Caribbean is gonna be uh, launching uh, Adventure of the Seas out of Nassau to do uh, seven night uh, sailings. Right. And that's in addition to you know other cruise lines like uh, Crystal Cruises is going to be doing uh, launching from Nassau on July 3rd. And I know there's a lot more to come. So what are some of the rules that will be in place if you decide to book one of these cruises? Are they going to want to see your vaccination card? Are you going to be expected to wear a mask the whole time? What have you heard? Well, there, there are, it's a very fluid situation and changing. Obviously they would love to have the crew and the passengers fully vaccinated, um, passengers under 18, um, Royal Caribbean is going to have them uh, you know, need a, a negative PCR test. So essentially, more than likely, what will happen is, you know, for the Nat, for the Bahamas or for St. Martin or other countries, more than likely, these countries want a PCR test within 24 hours. Uh, I'm sorry, 72 hours of the of your arrival in the country. They may test you in the country, then they may test you a third time before you get on board the ship. Obviously, being vaccinated is important. Temperature checks. Um, you know, these you know, social distancing on board the ships uh, are all part of the, you know, way to, you know, for us to be able to make, you know, cruising safer. Some of those same protocols in place that we are experiencing right now. I did not realize, Stuart, though, that even since last summer, there have been some cruise lines operating in areas including the Mediterranean and around Europe. How has that been going so far? Well, so far it's been going very well, and uh, they're able to, uh, you know, identify any passengers that may have COVID, uh, isolate, quarantine, get them off the ship. When the ship is cleared, then the ship can continue on its way. Um, and this way, it's not negatively impacting the rest of the passengers. Um, there's been very, very few uh, instances of those uh, um, of COVID on the ships that have been sailing, let's say on MSC um, out, of, out of Italy or um, uh, Costa Cruises out of Italy. Um, Sea Dream has been sailing, you know, was sailing out of Norway uh, very successfully uh, all year, you know, essentially since June. Um, you know, one of uh, Royal Caribbean sister companies, TUI, had, had been sailing. Uh, they did a lot of them stopped because the countries they were sailing in um, were not, were you know, went into lockdown. So therefore, the ships had to go, uh, you know, had to stop the sailings. Right. But everybody's very excited. I know they are. Stuart Sheeran, you're one of those excited guys as well, the cruise guy. Thanks so much for joining <laughs> us. I can tell by the shirt you're wearing that you probably already <laughs> planned yours. Thanks for joining us right here on The Four. We do appreciate your expertise on the topic. My pleasure.